The Student Council Tender Loving Christmas Drive is underway, and the competition between cohorts is on. It's also a throwback Thursday, so we're going to the vault to bring you RG show video from the past. The Red and Gold Show starts now. Hello Crusaders, welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Faith White bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Today is the first day students were able to pay a dollar to dress out of uniform and support the Student Council Tender Loving Christmas Drive. This year's goal is to collect at least $1,000 to help at least two families in need during the upcoming holiday season. The drive will continue through November 24th, and the students need to pay on days they are attending in-person classes. Student Council is inviting competition among the cohorts to drive to help drive donations during these first few days. Students on campus today and Tuesday will compete with those who are on campus Friday and Monday. Today's group brought in $125. The group that brings in the most money will be given a voucher to dress out of uniform one more day. The voucher can be used on any day of the school year. During the final week of the drive, a voluntary group of faculty, staff members, and coaches will match any dollar amounts donated by students. So let's dig deep and, as usual, give that little extra to help those in need. Now let's head over to Ava, who will keep us up to date with our Crusader Clubs. Thanks, Faith. You may have noticed a creative writing club listed in the Canvas survey students were asked to take yesterday. That club was listed because it's about to become a reality. Ms. Wetzel is hosting a call-out meeting all Wednesday at 3.15. Contact her for the link to the team's meeting. That's it for clubs. Now back to Faith for more news. If you're looking for a part-time job, the Deere and Cleaners at 10th and Arlington is hiring. Any students who are interested may call the store or stop by in person for more information. Now let's head over to Ava for today's Crusader Sports. Thanks, Faith. Tonight, the girls' basketball teams will travel to LaPel with JV playing at 6 and varsity at 7.30. The team was supposed to play Beach Grove on Saturday and celebrate their senior night, but that game has been canceled. Beach Grove went to virtual learning and canceled all their athletic events for the week. Senior night for girls basketball will be rescheduled, so stay tuned. That's it for sports. Now back to Faith for more news. Thanks, Ava. It's another Throwback Thursday here on the Red and Gold Show. In this weekly feature, we go through the RG archives to bring you a segment from years past. You know Stuco is sponsoring the TLC drive right now, but in years past, we'd be in the middle of the canned food, food drive right now. And no one covered the canned food drive like Biscuit and Friends. We're going back to 2015 to bring you another Risk It for the Biscuit. This week's episode of Risk It for the Biscuit, Crusader Can Food Drive. So Biscuit, how can I ask for cans? Well Sloan, you should always be polite. Hey, uh, we're from Cena, we're collecting cans. Got some cans for us? Got any cans? What are cans? Hey, there's a fridge though. There's a fridge though. Sunny Dino. Hi, sir. We're from Cecina, and we're having a canned food drive to help families for Thanksgiving. We were wondering if you'd like to donate. Sure, thank you, y'all. I'm gonna get it. So, biscuit. How should I carry the cans? Well, using a cart always makes everything easier. So, Biscuit, what are some tips on safety? Well, you should always use the buddy system. Oh! Oh! No! 
There you go, Crusaders. If you follow those simple guidelines, you can do it. Biscuit, that was corny. What? Yeah, those were some good tips. That's it for today's news. Stay safe and give that little extra.